All right, nightmare gutter scenario, take one. You ever just really, really, really not want to do something? I can't explain why I don't want to do this. Uh, there's no logical explanation. It's no different than all the other stuff I, I do. You know, I get to use tools and I got to buy a new tool. But uh, for some reason, I would rather take a beating than put these gutters up. I don't know why. All right, here we go. Uh, I got to pop rivet this on and then put some sealer in here. And uh, let's get started. Oh, boy, that works really good. I just thought I'd show you how a pop rivet gun works, if you don't know. This is the, uh, the end cap, the end cap, the end of the gutter. And uh, I have to uh, pop rivet this together. And uh, I'll put a couple in just so you know how it works. Let me make sure you can see this in the viewfinder. Yeah, there we go. See that coming through there? Actually, I'm not in deep enough. Boy, have I heard that before. There we go, there's one. Now I gotta do uh, two on this side and two on this side. And uh, then I have to, uh, I have to, uh, use one of these on this end to, uh, to assemble it, to attach it to the gutter. I need you to go to the other end for me. And huh? hold, hold the tape measure. Hold the tape measure? Right at the other end there. You good? Six eleven. Are you sure? At least he's six. Six foot. At least six foot. They're really tall. Yeah. And my uncle Stephen, he's How tall do you think I am? Hmm. Not around. Five what? Five foot ten. Five foot ten? You're not that far off. Uh, I'm six foot one. Six foot one? I am six foot one. All of, all six feet of me.
What do you say? The cutoff about one foot. Uh, about six inches. Now, thank God that's going to be hid from view. <laughs> Pop rivet that, drill it, and pop rivet it. All right, there is 10 feet of gutter. Uh, but see, it looks great on the outside, but uh, not so pretty on the outside. We'll just, we'll just pretend this never happened. Okay, now I have to screw on this flexible downspout so I don't have to do it up in the air on the ladder. And uh, then I've got to go screw these hangers onto the fascia and I'm hoping 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 I can find a rafter tail to screw these into this was my main reason my my biggest reservation about putting gutters on this house was that the fascia boards are like three-eighths of an inch uh, of that hardy board crap uh, it might not even be hardy board it might just be uh, masonite you know textured masonite and uh, you know, once you start putting holes in that stuff, it, it's not long where it starts to rot. But if I can get these into a rafter tail and then seal them, put some silicone around them, I think they'll be all right. All right, let me get uh, this drilled and screwed, and then I'll drive up there with my ladder and start hanging the, the gutter hangers. Ha! I laugh at your 200-pound weight limit. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Lordy. And it's only 107. Okay. I'm not going to do the downspout yet. I'm going to go do the other side. The other side is the hard side. All right. Now, all I got is the uh, downspouts. Sorry, I know you're getting dizzy. Okay, I'm going to take a break. My God, it's 98 degrees with about 110 heat index. And uh, I am fat and I'm 60. <laughs> Not a good combination for 98 degrees. Plus, I was working in the sun. <laughs> Alrighty, let me uh, drink my soda and uh, finish this well, up. I've got the downspouts cut. And the uh, 45s on the end, I just don't have them uh, mounted, and I still have to screw them to the wall. And then I'm going to put an extension on it to bring it out past the flower garden. Uh, same thing down there, I've got them set up, but uh, it is too hot. <laughs> and uh, I've been hot all day. So, so this is what it looks like. And tomorrow I'll hang them so you won't I won't bother I'm gonna upload this tonight so uh, in the morning when you see this I'll be doing by the time you see this I'll be outside hooking these up and uh, that's the end of this and now I can go to my knife shop after I hang these and go to my knife shop What thing do a wheelie? <laughs> so I ordered these, this 800 grit sandpaper by Norton on the 5th. I spoke to a person. And uh, 
I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it doesn't show up. And it says pending fulfillment. And today is the 11th. So I called them. And uh, I'm going to tell you who it was I ordered it from. But let me, yeah, give me just a second. So, uh, I get the lady on the phone. She tells me that they won't have it till the 22nd. And, uh, as politely as I could, I said, you know, <laughs> you really owe it to people. This is my first time ordering from you. And if I had any clue that it would take three weeks for me to get 50 sheets of sandpaper, I'd have certainly ordered from the thousands any one of the thousands of other places that sell this exact same sandpaper. It's just not right uh, to take money from somebody and not tell them that you don't have it in your possession and uh, it will take a while for you to get it and then for me to get it. Then she says, well, I'll tell you what I can do. Uh, I can have them ship this directly to you from the manufacturer. Uh, which would cut, you know, four or five days off. Great. That's just great. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't ugly to her, but uh, I said, you know, I'm just a small guy. About three hours to your east, and uh, I could have drove over there and picked it up. If, uh, you know, because Norton, the Norton warehouse is in Stephenville, Texas, which is not far from Weatherford, out that way. Fort Worth, out that way. And, uh... Dear God, don't order from those folks. It's, to me, it's unethical and unscrupulous business practices like that that make people never want to have nothing to do with you again. That's just dirty pool is what that is.